Well, I'm Floyd Wickman, and I'm not necessarily famous. I'm, I'm fairly well known. <laughs> I think there's a distinction there, okay, uh, in, the, in, the, in the training industry. Uh, and I, I focus my energies on uh, uh, teaching and talking about selling and, and self-motivation. That's my, that's my focus, and I think that's where my, uh, where my name fits in. You know, Sweat Hogs was my, uh, I don't even want to say it was my original program because I had done some programs prior to that, but Sweat Hogs was a, uh, a program that I first did in 1979, and, uh, and they graduated in early, very early 1980. And uh, the, the name Sweat Hog just came, uh, it was a, a serendipity. I happened to be making a reference to an old TV show. And I called my students, I said, I feel like Mr. Cotter working with the sweat hogs. And so when they were interviewed by a newspaper, they used that phrase. So the Floyd Wickman program then became sweat hogs, all right? And, uh, and you know, after roughly 250,000 graduates, uh, I sold it. And that's uh, something like 12 years ago. Well, I think, I think if there's a difference in the two programs, it's, uh, this program is, uh, is more timely uh, with, with what's going on in the real estate market today, okay? Uh, certainly has some, some of the uh, uh, focus that the old program had, but for example, okay, Sweat Hogs was always based on cold calling, all right? Well, in some cases, cold calling either became illegal and if it wasn't illegal, it was tasteless. So we, we sort of focused our energies on having our agents build their referral business. And the funny thing is, they got off cold calling, they got into referral calling, and the per person production increase has stayed the same. So it, it, it wasn't just the material, it was our methodology at changing people. Well, I think first and foremost is what I've already said, and that's the core values. You know, one, one of our five core values is to always be, work, always be willing to work toward a common good. And the common good is the, the broker and the office and the company. And never forget that you're part of that company. You're, you're, not, you're not an island. So I think a broker bringing us in can, can realize camaraderie, some more teamwork going on in the office, and, uh, and some real focus on, on inventory. Whether you're an individual or an office or a multiple office organization, your inventory level is going to determine your income level. So the only way a broker would not bring us in is either, number one, they don't like us, they don't like me, okay, that, that, that can happen, or they, uh, they're making enough money, <laughs> okay, um, or they uh, just are not believers in training. I, that's the only three reasons I can think of that any broker would keep us out at least talk to us and see what the new Floyd Wickman program is really all about. Don't, don't prejudge. You know, boards are, are like companies. Inventory level is what keeps boards going. The only way boards make any money is when listings are brought in and inventory is brought in. That, that's the only way that they survive. Well, if they know there's a company that can come in and represent them, so to speak, it's, uh, all they have to do is expose us to their members and we'll, act, we'll, we'll increase production. And we'll never forget who brought us in, meaning that board, those students will hear from us that how important that board is. That they, they had the fortitude to say, hey, here's a program we'd like to see you guys maybe get involved in. Uh, and if they knew that it would change that person's life, I think all boards would want us in. Well, you know, I've been across Canada this last few months and, and, and good, you know? I mean, I mean, real estate's like pistons, you know? Sometimes it's hotter than others, but the bottom line is you can't always control the market, but you can always control your own market if you're well-trained. So, um, uh, but overall, Canadian real estate's doing well, doing good. And in some of the places that were slow, I'm hearing they're, they're, they're seeing those signs. Business has been better, it's been good. So. Business is good. Oh yeah, I speak at a lot of conventions, and uh, I do, uh, you know, I do my normal motivation type stuff and stay in focus, stay motivated for realtors. And 
But any one of my trainers, uh, Doug Thompson, could be brought into a board or a convention and, 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 and do a phenomenal job. You know why? Because he's on my team. <laughs>